This is the land of the big scrub, but so many of the remnants are separated. The corridor goes right from Casino to Mwilambar and we have this unique opportunity to link up parts of our corridor to make a real corridor for wildlife too. The opportunity to wild the corridor, if you like, with native species is just too good an opportunity to miss. So I think that's another very exciting element. The old rail trail or the rail trails corridor, it is actually what it is. It's, it's that corridor up to parts of the country that you may not ever get to see. That wonderful line ran through some of the most pristine country of the, of the Bunjilung Nation and I think through this process you're able to experience something very, very different in a very different manner. Um, you know, you have the opportunities to walk those trails at your leisure. You'll be able to connect back to, I think, not just the, the country but the, you know, the flora, the fauna, the animals that you're going to be able to see on those trails, I think, hold very much a significance to us as Bunjilung people, you know, particularly because of our connection to not just the land but the connection to those animals as well. The rail corridor has been dormant for a number of years and so it's become very overgrown. There's a lot of weeds, a lot of fallen trees and timber there. So there's going to be a whole program of replanting right along that corridor to beautify it, to make it look very attractive to people who are going to use it. And the same goes for the railway station precinct which we're planning on moving into. We're going to have a whole planting program there, a whole regeneration program to make sure that it's beautiful, that it's attractive to people and people can come and enjoy it, relax in those environments and benefit from being there. I think it's really important and I think most people agree that planting more native species in our gardens is really really important after the floods and the bushfire and everything so with the rail trail that, that's going to encourage more of us to get out there and plant not just in our own backyards but around in our whole community meet more people, engage and actually learn at the same time why it's important. Our country talks to us every day um, and, and I think if we can use those corridors that, that have been opened through the rail trails and continue those you know, pathways to be able to connect back to country, connect back to family and connect back to community, I think those things are, are things that we're all craving for and I think those things are the things we learn from. If you actually get the opportunity to go on those trails and you get to, whether it's bike ride, whether it's hiking, whether it's walking, whether it's, you know, with your family, take, a, take the time to, to stop and just listen to the country and, and let the country talk back to you and let the country tell you what, you know, what it's feeling because I think those messages are more important than, you know, putting a line through and putting a train on it. So.